Welcome back to another episode of Tech TLDR. I hope everybody had as good of a weekend as I did. Today, big event. SN9 looks like it's going to finally launch today. We're going to talk all about that in today's episode. So if you want every piece of information that I possibly can get to you right now regarding the possibilities of this, stick to the whole episode. Now let's get into this. Backtrack a little bit. SN9. We've seen multiple delays for this. Two of the engines had to be swapped for reasons technically unknown at this point still we saw multiple static fires i believe five in total we've seen multiple times on the tfl list dates getting pushed back however i think today is going to be the actual day and when you listen to all the reasons why it'll start to make sense so the flight termination system has officially been installed as of technically depending on where you live if you're on the east coast like me last night it was finally installed What this does is if something starts to go wrong, they can just cut it. They can cut the SN9, turn it off, the thing will just be a big piece of metal in the sky and it'll come crashing down. That's for emergency purposes if for some reason this thing starts blasting off in the wrong direction. That's installed and that's kind of like the last safe gate for this whole system. We've also seen it do the static fires and they were successful. So you have two of the final products completed. That's the first indicator that I have. The second more important indicator I have is that for the uh, sorry for the Coast Guard and for the TFL, they have the clearances from January 5th to January 27th. Now, usually when they have a date like this, they'll usually keep it to a later date, but things are in place for things to happen today. So that's why I'm saying today. And you're saying, well, where's the evidence that's happening today? Well, let's get into that. Locals in the area yesterday received this notification in their mail regarding the closure dates and the time that testing could be happening. So in the Texas area from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. is when any sort of activity from SpaceX would be going on. All locals get this to make sure that nobody's in the area, that nobody gets hurt, and that they can reduce any collateral damage that might possibly happen. And I know in previous episodes, I pretty much display this in like every episode I do regarding any sort of SN9 test. So you might be thinking, well, that doesn't really mean much just because they get this, they get this like every day. And if I'm a local, I'd be pretty annoyed by getting this every day. Don't get me wrong. They know what they signed up for by living there because SpaceX gave, I would say not promoted, but they gave a lot of the homers that live there a hefty payout in order to move so they could reduce any collateral damage and wouldn't have to worry about stuff like this. A lot of people chose to still live there. I don't know why. Maybe so they could witness all this happening is the only thing I could assume, but I can't imagine living there would be fun when you're constantly getting these things regarding, hey, we're going to be launching rockets. It's going to be so loud. Your eardrums are going to pop. Put on safety gear. It's like, ah, this has got to be annoying. But let's get into the last thing, which would be from SpaceX updates. The residents of the area have been asked to vacate the village it's, it's called a village. It's like a town, but it's called a village in the hard attack point by noon today. Today. Which so SpaceX is continuing to go with today's launch date. Like I said before, all the systems seem to be working right. With the static fire. They have the cutoff termination in place. Residents are being told to get out. I don't really see any reason why we won't see it today. Weather looks favorable. A lot of people already live streaming this. And again, the importance of this SN9, why so many people are hyped about it, they need to land this thing. If they launch it and they do the hop, that's one thing. Cool. See if everything works. But it's the landing people want to see. If they can land this, I would be I wouldn't be surprised if by next time they do maybe two at once. Elon Musk has said he wants to launch two at the same time. If you don't know when they go on to missions and such as going to Mars, they actually have to launch multiple starships up to refuel one another in orbit. That's going to be a big process. So they have to be able to launch two at the same time and then land two at the same time. Also, I wouldn't be surprised if soon we see a SpaceX starship with the booster do a launch. I'd be very excited to see that and to see the booster itself land. So a lot of cool things are coming out. That's what I have for you guys regarding the SN9's launch date. I think we're going to see it today. I can't live stream it because my computer cannot handle that. I'm sorry. But 
There are plenty of other channels that are going to be live streaming this. SpaceX will probably be live streaming this. So check all of those channels out if you want the live stream. But I'm going to be doing another update today regarding more space news. So if you want more of that, be sure to check it out. And also tomorrow, if they do a launch, I'll be talking all about that. The data they have, anything they talk about, and the news to be looking out for a possible SN10 if today goes well. Either way, make sure to click the like button on your way out. It helps me a ton. And have a good one.